Mary. Wow, that's a great looking email. Thanks, Pete. I owe it all to my CRM plugin. A CRM plugin? That's great. Hey, Brian, haven't you gotten your CRM plugin yet? Uh, yeah, I'm about to pick mine up. You got the stuff? You never saw me. Hi, this is Miriam Florio. And I'm Peter Wolf. Thanks for joining us for Channel Q, the CRM Review. Where we're gonna talk about all things CRM. And more. Woo! All right, so we're gonna have, today's topic's gonna to be on. Email integrations. And so stay tuned for the CRM mailbag. And the CRM spotlight. Thanks yeah. for joining the show. Yeah, and if you get a chance, hit the subscribe button. We like to hear from you, and that's the best way we, we know, except for, you know, sending us business. Remember to click like, too. Oh, it's the doorbell. Come in. Mail, 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 Thanks, buddy. You too. Mail, 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 mail Gordon, Gordon. Buddy. He brought the mail. Let's see what everyone sent us here. Oh, more viewer mail. This is great. I love this stuff. Our first letter is from Outlook Hermit. Outlook Hermit asks, I get a lot of emails from Prospect and I don't want to leave Outlook to get the information into CRM. Is there any way around this? That's a great question. We get to ask that a lot. And one of the strengths of Dynamics 365 for sales is that you can stay inside of Outlook to do a lot of your common tasks. So if you want to add that information in, you'll just hit the little plus button and it'll pop up the full entry form for a contact within Dynamics 365 sales. And you'll be able to enter in additional information apart from the name and the email address, which will pull right in from your Outlook email. Okay? So it should make you more efficient. Miriam's gonna talk about this more in the CRM Spotlight section right after this. The next question is, what if I don't want all of my emails tracked in CRM? My cousin sends me some really weird and inappropriate stuff and I don't want all those emails to show up in CRM from my cousin Vinny. Yeah, so uh, Vinny, you're gonna, not, you don't have to worry about that because what happens with the CRM plugins, either of the plugins that Microsoft offers is, you can choose exactly what, get, what gets filed and what doesn't get filed. And so what you're gonna wanna do is just make sure that only the important stuff, the stuff that's really uh, gonna be beneficial for the team to see inside of the CRM, you're gonna want that to get filed, okay? Next up, Mobile Mary asks, what if I'm using my phone for most of my emailing? I'm on the road a lot and I receive emails from customers and I wanna file them in CRM and I'm afraid if I don't file them then and there, they'll never get into CRM. Do I have to go back to my computer and file them? So that's also a very common question. A lot of people are on the road these days. So what you can do is from your mobile device, if you have the Exchange set up properly, you'll have a folder that says to CRM or it might be called something else. You'll wanna check with your administrator and you will just move the emails into that folder and then they'll automatically get filed against that record in CRM when the sync up happens. Okay, thanks mobile. Uh, the next question is, all my, co all my coworkers are using the Outlook plugin but I don't seem to have, have it loaded on my computer. How do I get that? This is from Brian Dunn. So Brian, this is, a, this is a question that is very easily answered. Just go to our website. There's a link here that you'll be able to see. Go to that website page, there'll be instructions. And if you have problems, call the team at Quanta CRM. We're here to help you. Uh, I really appreciate the questions. Stay tuned everybody for CRM in the Spotlight with Miriam. Thanks everybody. Did you know? Did you know that CRM can be used to monitor an email address, such as a sales or service email address, so that when customers come to your website, they can enter information into a form, either a service ticket request or a request for information? What this does is it saves your people a whole bunch of time because they don't have to rekey anything into CRM. 
No. Now you know. Hi, I'm Miriam Florio. Thanks for joining me for the Serum Spotlight. Today we're going to be looking at Dynamics 365 Light Plugin for Outlook. So the Dynamics 365 Lite plugin is the newest version from Microsoft. And as you can see here on my screen, I have this button in the upper right hand corner that says Dynamics 365. And when I click that, it connects up with my instance of Dynamics 365 online. And it looks for the information um, regarding the contact that sent you the email message. So in this case, I have an email from the Emo Addiction um, from Gordon, and he's not in my Dynamics system. So if I have a prospect or somebody that's emailing me that I don't currently have in CRM, the nice thing I can, um, the nice thing is with the plugin, I can actually add them to CRM. So as you can see on the right hand side, it says recipients and you can see the regarding contact once this email starts getting tracked. I click add to Dynamics 365 and I can choose to add uh, Gordon as a contact or even a lead. So I can choose what type of record he's going to be. So since I know him and he's not a lead in my mind, um, I can click add as contact and I can put in additional information. So Outlook will try and gather what it can based on the email settings. So Gordon sent me the email and the last name it came up as the email addiction. I can change that or I can leave it as it is. And of course I can add other things like job title, um, email addresses pulled from the email record itself. And as you can see, just normal basic contact information phone numbers, address, etc. I can also choose to open the record after I save it. So if I want to do that, I can. But I'll just click save. I don't need to open it. I want to stay in Outlook and you can see I get a notification that the contact was created successfully. If we go over to Dynamics, I can actually search for the record that we just added and you can see here it is, Gordon, the email addiction. So there's no syncing that needs to take place. The record will just automatically go into CRM as soon as it, I hit save on that record, which is really nice. And now that I'm focused on the record, you can see that all the information has flowed into this contact record. And if I want, I can obviously add in phone calls, tasks, etc. If we go back to Outlook, you can see what other options um, are in here. So I have of course, now that I've added Gordon to the system, I have other options down here at the bottom. So I could create a task against a record. So let's say I receive another email from Gordon later or from somebody else. Um, I'm in Outlook, I'm working through my email messages and maybe somebody's getting back to me regarding a quote that I sent, I can track that email. I could also then, you know, it might be a good idea to create a task to follow up with that person in a week. I don't wanna forget and maybe I don't wanna go log into Dynamics 365 to create that task. Well, no worries, I can do it directly from here. So I can say, I can set up a phone call um, or I could choose task, whatever option you'd like to see. And you can see here the owner is defaulted to me. I can set a due date on this. So let's just say I wanna follow up with Gordon by next Wednesday. And if you like to set exact times on your tasks. Oh, hey guy, don't let me move him. All right, we'll just say it's 12 a.m., that's fine. Um, and then the owner, call from, etc. So that's all going in here, outgoing message. The description's just grabbing the description from the email subject line. You can of course change that or add something to it. If you don't need anything else and you just wanna quickly create this, you, you would just hit save. And so it says the new phone call was created successfully. Let's go back and take a look at the record. And as you can see, there it is, voila. Um, CRM is great, there's a little phone call icon. If I drill into that, I can see the details of what I just created. So that 3.22 at 12 a.m. it's due. And of course that would show up in my activities list as a CRM user, um, as well as my, just a task list specifically, and phone calls. So other things I can do directly from Outlook is I can choose to file certain emails. So um, using Outlook itself, I can actually choose to track a message. And I'm just showing you another way to get to this Dynamics 365 Lite plugin. The pane shows up on the right. Um, I can track messages as I see their fit or I need to track them inside the system. So um, as an email comes in that's important from one of my customers or prospects or even a colleague, I can just click track on that email. It will try to look and see what I wanna track it regarding. So I can choose to track it against myself. I could track it against other folks in the system. So I'll just choose my name here. And so that'll then track regarding myself. Um, if you have an opportunity or something else 
for that record or for that customer, you can track it against the opportunity and that would show up. So it's really a smart search that shows up on the right hand side of the screen. This new plugin is less bulky, it's easier to use, it's more intuitive, and I really like it. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's demo. Join me next time for more information on Dynamics 365. Okay, thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back in a couple of weeks for our CRM news. Bye. Bye. You should be drinking the serum. Wait. The serum in a can again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I gotta treat this thing with good luck. With respect. How about we get another shot of Miriam drinking serum in a can? <laughs> Here, you drink it. No, it's better if you drink it. <laughs> this is the good stuff.